Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to do a first impressions and a mini review on this concealer right here. This is the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer. It has taken me such a long time to actually try to find this concealer in somewhat of a similar shade to my skin tone. All the locations I was going to, they were all the super, super light concealers with the wrong undertones. So I actually just ended up getting medium beige. I'm not sure if this is going to match or yeah, but it kind of looks like it's going to be pretty close. So I figured this was the best bet. They didn't have too many shades for me to pick from and choose from. So that's why I ended up going with this. Um, I got mine at Target and it was $5. I did pull up on their website some of the information because I don't know all the claims off the top of my head. So there looks like there's about... So it looks like it's about 18 shades and they have all the undertones, cool, neutral, and warm. And it says that it's a full coverage 16 hour wear concealer featuring a large doe foot applicator to conceal, correct, contour, highlight for flawless skin. It's highly pigmented, lightweight, dries matte, once head to your fine lines, all of that good stuff. And it is ideal for every single skin type. Um, it says it has intense pigmentation for full coverage. And it, it'll leave behind a matte finish. So, okay. So it looks like it has really good claims. So hopefully it, it does what it's supposed to do and it works. And I'm just going to tear the packaging off. It's not, yeah, okay. So this is what it looks like. It looks like it should match. I may want to go, if I do like this, I'll probably go in with a lighter shade also, just to mix together things. Let me look for my little mirror. Okay. So it is a pretty decent size doe foot. It just has a normal makeup scent, nothing too crazy, nothing too overbearing. And I'm gonna, and I heard that with these concealers, they do dry down darker because it has a really intense pigmentation. Well, that may actually work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start off with a very small amount and I'm gonna work on one eye. What I normally like doing when I do apply concealer. I like to go in with my Morphe brush. This is the E8 and I like to just kind of push the product in and then once everything is kind of blended down then I go in with a beauty blender sponge of some sort. This shade actually looks really good. I'm glad that I went with this instead of something lighter. I have really dark eye circles. Well, dark eye bags. It's just dark underneath my eye area. So I'm always looking for something full coverage. The concealer that I'm currently using, not the biggest fan I can we can talk about that at another time. But this seems to be blending in really, really nice. And then I'm just gonna go in with a sponge. I'm just gonna go in also, I know this is kind of extra, but I'm gonna go in with a very small Beauty Blender. This is the actual mini Beauty Blender. Just to really get in there. So I do need to add a little bit more, but I wanted to start off with a very small amount to work my way because I wasn't sure how the coverage was going to be. It does look like it is pretty full coverage. So I'm just going to Just 
add a little bit more. You know what? I'm going to add some here also and see what it looks like when it's dry down if it's hard to move. Going back in. It's kind of getting a little patchy over here. Let me see if I can fix that. I'm also dampening my sponge a little bit to see if that makes a difference. I'm actually pretty impressed with the concealer. Everything looks really good. It it's not doing anything weird. The color blended in perfectly. I, my eyes I look awake without looking too bright underneath my eye area. So if I really wanted to go for something really really bright, I can probably go in with a shade lighter, but I think this is probably my perfect shade. I'm going to go off camera and do the rest of my face. I'm going to set my under eye area and then I'll come back and let you guys know what I think about this concealer with everything on it. Right now, I'm loving the way this looks. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back and all of my face, well, all of my makeup is completely done. I didn't do any baking underneath my eye area. I did apply the concealer Pretty much everywhere I would normally highlight, I just use a really small amount. A little does go a long way with this product. Um, you guys saw how I applied it. I just went in with a little bit of translucent powder and just went ahead and set everything. It it just looks so good. I feel like it's canceling all my dark circles and I don't feel like I would need a color corrector before applying this concealer. I think it did a really good job. It is absolutely, in my opinion, full coverage. It's very lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't look cakey, especially in person. And it, I don't know, it dried it down pretty well when I did set it. I didn't have any issues. There was, nothing was clinging on in a really ugly, patchy way. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, um, I don't have any complaints about this at all. Um, I actually really, really like this. I really like the shade. I may want to get a lighter shade just when I lose my tan, just so I have something as a backup. But right now, this shade matches me perfectly. As you can see, it brightened up my face really, really well. It's not overly light. It's not overly bright. It did dry down just a little bit. And yeah, I don't have any complaints. I absolutely love this concealer. I know this is just my first time using it. This is just my initial first impressions, first thoughts, quick mini review for you guys. I will be using this for the next couple of days and week and see if I can just use it different ways and how it goes on just with like different tools and different products just to make sure that I do still feel the same way about it and I can do an updated review more in depth for you guys if you would like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick first impression mini review on this concealer. Um, yeah, I don't have anything else to say. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.